hey guys, it's Running Kimono. So um, TLC for the last many, many months, I think since like last fall, they have been releasing um, like 10 minute clips of segments of the Extreme Couponers featured on their show. I think the show stopped, I think in 2010 or something like that. But, you know, for the run of when it was on television for a really long time, um, I know probably most of you have seen the show or, or parts of it. And um, they have been reposting it and they posted one today. And I think with everything going on um, in the world, lots of people are very interested to see the mechanics of how extreme couponers get it done. And a lot of people have a lot of opinions. So we're going to talk about just a couple of things, um, including one comment that I thought that was very, very interesting. Uh, from I just read through the comments really quickly. I, I didn't watch this video. These were the two sisters that uh, their grandma or aunt or something like that had coupons from the 50s and gifted it to them. And I, I thought it was interesting, but just not one of my favorite episodes. So I didn't even watch it. But I did read through the comments because I'm curious what people are thinking. For the most part on my YouTube channel, I'm not really getting a lot of negative comments. I think when all of the dust settles with this, a lot of people will try to learn how to extreme coupon because they want to be stocked up if there's the next wave of this or whatever, you know, um, just this is the sort of thing that nobody ever anticipated, myself included, and to be stuck at home and to see something like even toilet paper being like the one item that, you know, would be cleared out of a store um, in such speed. You know, I think a lot of us are really surprised by that. But this is the comment, guys. To think we laughed at those types of people and now we see how ahead of their times they are right now with an unhappy face. I'm going to leave this person's name because I don't think it's a, it's a mean comment. Um, but to say that people that stockpile and coupon, prep, whatever you want to say, we, we want to have a rainy day um, stockpile of goods for the pantry, for the household, cleaners, toilet paper, that sort of stuff. And, you know, this video was only up for less than an hour and this person had 27 views. So a lot of people are agreeing or a lot of people are writing in the comments like, hey, I really need to learn how to do this like yesterday. Um, but it's just it's 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 interesting how um, this comment, you know, because even myself, like I'm not dumb. Um, my husband has a very large extended family. And for most of the family members, I always whip together a bag whenever I see them or Christmas time, or if they buy a new home, I'm the, the person in the family who will, you know, furnish them with everything for the home. Um, just because I have a really large stockpile and this is what I do. And I remember, uh, my husband had a family member and I'm not going to get really specific, but, uh, they kind of were like, oh, thanks, but not really enthusiastic about it. And uh, another time uh, this person was at our home and I said, hey, take whatever you want from my basement. And they're like, well, I don't really use any of this stuff. And I said, well, you always need like cleaner or Lysol wipes or whatever. And sure enough, in the last week I heard, thank you so much for all that stuff. You have no idea. I really needed it. And I remember you gave me some last year and I've been using it all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But initially this family member, I'm very sure probably thought I was out of my mind because, you know, um, I have such an enthusiasm and passion for couponing that if you meet me in real life, yeah, I'm always talking about deals and sales and flyers and this and that. And for somebody who's really not into this, it is just kind of like, what are you talking about? It would be like somebody talking about talking about professional the darts or something like that, you know? It just I just would get some odd looks or just like, oh, that's nice. Let's talk about paint on the wall. You know, it just it was never really uh well received. And now that all of this is happening, um, I've even noticed that family members who need help or friends of our family, we're trying to help them, you know, if they really reach out and say, Could you help us? We're trying to figure out a way to, to get them these provisions. And um, it's a really unique place to be. Um, I don't think a lot of us are, you know, I think that a lot of people don't understand this. And because they don't understand it, they can't lash out on us and say that we were the people, you know, in Walmart buying all the toilet paper because we know that is not the case. Because here's the God's honest truth. Extreme couponers, we do not buy toilet paper for $11, 12 $15 a pop. 
we get it for points at Walgreens or on a major deal when you're paying very little out of pocket. And if you've been following me for a while and doing some of these deals, either at Walgreens or Dollar General, you're probably sitting on uh, a little bit of toilet paper. So uh, this was taken, I think, uh, the Wednesday before uh, something hit the fan, if you can catch my drift. There was still a little bit left. I mean, in dire needs, you could always use a paper towel or whatever, but things were dwindling by the minute. And then the next day when I went, it was completely empty. And so post-apocalyptic and such a weird energy and time, um, that is for sure. And um, don't be shy that if uh, family or friends or your husband's best friend who comes and sits on the couch and drinks beer is after your toilet paper, you can always say no because we do not know the timeline. And a lot of us, if your store hasn't restocked, you know, we don't know how fast these manufacturers are going to be making more toilet paper to get them back in stock. So you know, it doesn't, your store doesn't look like this. So saying no is always a okay thing to do. I mean, you can always give them uh, a roll of toilet paper and to charge people, I wouldn't, I would just give cause I have a pretty big stockpile. So it wouldn't be that. And a lot of people who are also in a panic, cause I've heard this from multiple people that are terrified that, you know, someone will come and just um, raid their stockpile or, or loot them or something like that. Uh, call the cops. I mean, you have that option to do that. And uh, if you're in an unsafe position or somebody, you know, just call the police. Um, and also social distancing, people should not be coming over to your house, uh, you know, demanding stuff. Um, just leave it in your driveway if it's a family member or friend and they can come and get it, you know, so you're not having any sort of contact, but, uh, just use your wits about you. And, uh, this one, uh, subscriber actually wrote me thinking that the government was going to come and take all of her, all of her Dawn dish soap. And I, you know, I don't think that's what they're after. And honestly, it's not like you post a photo on Facebook with your home address and phone number and email and like the GPS locations, like be smart guys, of course. Um, if it's family member or friends that are doing, giving you a nice little shakedown for stuff, help them out as much as you can. And if you can't, that's also okay. Cause we're all in the same boat. Just closing off this video, guys, um, you know, if you can afford it, give to family and friends, especially if they need like a little thing of toilet paper or something small. Again, no contact. So just leave it in your driveway or somewhere safe that this family member or friend can find it quickly. Um, we have a stockpile because when stuff is cheap or free, that's when you buy and save it for a, 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 the next day, a rainy day. So you're not buying something um, such as Let's give an example, uh, Cottonelle toilet paper, the 12 packs that are um, $5.99 next week at Walgreens, they're usually $9 a pop. So you buy enough to get you through a little while for your household. And then, you know, when it's on sale, that's when you pounce and stock up um, because paying $9 compared to $4.99, that's a little bit of savings even without coupons. So I mean, there is a method to this madness and that's why we save up. So say there is no um, sale on toilet paper for a couple of months, you know, you have it in your stockpile. And just because you have a stockpile doesn't mean you're a hoarder. That means that you're collecting these items. So when you run out of toilet paper or shampoo or the Dawn dish soap that I guess the government's after, um, you know, you can... You have it on hand and you don't have to go to Dollar General and spend $4.95 for that um, that new trigger spray of that Dawn dish soap that I love so much, you know. Um, and I, I'm not joshing or coming for anyone either or, you know, making a, an example of somebody. But I think that uh, you just hear certain sound bites on the news or something that's just been really, uh, you know, just said a lot on social media to just put couponers in a bad light to say that, you know, we're greedy people and we hoard and we do this and we do that and terrible, terrible people. Yeah, you can say whatever you want, but I think that we are people that have been doing this hobby for a while um, because we like to save money. We like to see the math and how things work out. Um, a lot of us, you know, we do this to help our family members. And I certainly don't have uh, $3,000 of disposable cash around Christmas time to go to the store and buy all that stuff for my extended family members, makeup, toilet paper, you know, toddler supplies, wipes, that sort of stuff. Like, um, I, I, I don't, but because I coupon, I can probably give everybody a gift of like, 
you know, two to three hundred dollars um, per couple. And I only can do that because I coupon. So uh, just a little food for thought. I'm just trying to prepare you guys because I think that uh, especially if you have photos out or if your family members know that you extreme coupon, um, there might be some hard discussions coming up in your future or people just wanting stuff just because, because they think you get everything for free. And this is so easy for you. It's not, it's hard work. And we all know that. As always, guys, be safe out there. And um, it's always okay to say no. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.